hello friends welcome back to my channel so today's video i'm going to present you some of the very important histological slides that they usually attach with the question stem recognizing these uh, slides are very important because uh, sometimes the microscopical features or the gross features which they present with the question are very important clue to come to the diagnosis and hopefully it will be very helpful to come with the correct answer okay so let's begin so the first slide shows you the alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency this is a misfolded gene product protein aggregated inside the hepatocytes which will further uh, lead to the cirrhosis so in the question stem they will, might tell you some of the findings of cirrhosis like ascites uh, variceal bleeding or spider angiomata testicular atrophy or maybe gynecomastia too apart from that they might also give you some clinical finding of copd because this alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency is associated with both copd and cirrhosis Next here you can see the granuloma of rheumatic fever which is also known as ascobodies and you can also see multiple giant cells inside this granuloma. So this is the orders of the APL variant of uh, acute myelogenous leukemia. These are the actually myeloperoxidase cytoplasmic inclusion and the patient will usually present with the features of disseminated intravascular coagulation. Okay? Here you can see the bilateral swanoma which is usually associated with neurofibromatosis type 2. Other findings that, uh, that is classically associated with neurofibromatosis 2 is juvenile cataract and the two tumors that is meningioma and ependymoma. Okay? So two ears, two eyes and two tumors that is swanoma bilateral and uh, juvenile cataract which, is, which has to be bilateral and the two tumors that is meningioma and ependymoma okay here you can see the broad based bodying of blastomyces and the endemic location where this uh, blastomyces is prevalent is eastern or central us or great lakes other findings that is associated with blastomyces are varicose skin lesion pneumonia and other than that there is osteomyelitis which presents with the bone pain okay here you can see the aplastic anemia with hypocellular and fatty infiltrated bone marrow the classical drug associated with these are ABC, okay, so alkylating agent, benzene and chloramphenicol, okay. And uh, the case will usually tell you that the, there was bone biopsy with a dry tap, okay. This is the case of Burkitt lymphoma with starry sky appearance uh, which comprise of this uh, lymphocytes and macrophages. So the night is represented by the lymphocytes, the dark blue lymphocytes while the stars is represented by the macrophages which is tangible macrophages okay so this is a starry sky appearance of the Burkitt lymphoma this slide shows you cafe late stain which is associated with Fanconi anemia or McCune Albright syndrome okay so in McCune Albright syndrome the classical presentation will be a female with a precocious puberty okay and Fanconi anemia there will be features of uh, anemia and apart from that there will be radial side defect of the bone this shows you the germ tube of the candida and another slide this one is for the candida tongue scraping okay so this is a scraping from a uh, probably hiv patient or immunocompromised patient so three things that is associated with candida you have to remember is oc pill use diabetes mellitus or antibiotics use okay and other than that there will be uh, immunocompromised patient for example hiv patient so this is a gross image showing you the capillary hemangioma the other name for capillary hemangioma is strawberry hemangioma and what the question will generally ask you the fate of this lesion and the, the fate of this lesion is they will grow and regress spontaneously by the five to eight years so initially the lesion will grow for some time and then they usually regress by the age of five to eight years okay so in this case there will be a patient with a feature of carcinoid syndrome like you know the classical features bronchospasm flossing diarrhea or uh, maybe right-sided heart failure so you have to recognize this by the blue cells small blue cells which is neuroendocrine in origin uh, in the rosette pattern and also the site of biopsy is very very important in uh, in this case okay so they, that will be usually uh, the small intestine or sometime lungs okay 
so this was it so if you want to add any information on any disease that i just explained you can please add in the comment section thank you